All right, we're back again for another video here. I wanted to show you all that uh, the walk mesh. Uh, I was doing a recording and it didn't pan out too well, so I turned around and uh, I st I don't want to go back and redo all the work that I've done. But as you can see here, the um, you have the inner wall, of course, is the wood. The outer wall, which is this uh, other texture. Um, then we have our posts in here that uh, I've created uh, for like a boards or, or no, I meant more like a um, oh so or uh, studs uh, in the wall more like a four by four or something. We'll see how it actually looks once we get it in game. But um, this all the different coloring you see here, like the purple, the brown, the white, the white. Um, if you go over here to uh, uh, NWN Tools 2, you have a list of walk meshes. Now, um, five is wood, and that's what I've set these as. Now, if I was to select, this is the walk mesh, so if I was to select this, go to Faces, and now click this face, it has the number five in there. There's multiple faces. And if I click another face, uh, you guys seen it where I was the, the the triangles I was making connecting the verts. Each one of those triangles is a poly or a face, and then you got to set it to what you want. Now, I was also making stair stepped, but you don't need stair stepped when you're doing a, a walk mesh. So I made it more of a slant. Um, now for the actual look. I'll make the steps, but uh, this is just a walk mesh, so that's why it's set up the way it is. Um, I'm going to, let's see, uh, the white here is two, and two, as you see, is obstructing. Obstructing basically means you can't fire arrows through it. You can't see through it. Um, you... Um, can't cast spells through it you can't see the object that's on the other side of that it's obstructing your view I put the front area here to purple and that is because we have the windows here now purple is seven as you see right here this is what I set it to and if you look over here seven is no walk meaning you can't walk on this area and I'm going to ch I'm going to have to change it up a bit. It's got to be brought back to where it's closer, right along the the wall here, and then make this walkable. So when you're on the outside of the caravan, you can walk around, but have a big enough border so the guys on the inside can't walk through the wall, and the guys on the outside can't walk into the wall. Um, but this is a good starting point. But the idea is so that someone could be in this window looking out, and they could fire uh, crossbows or um, spells they can't walk through it but they can do that through the window and then uh, the same thing from the outside they can do that in inward so that's that's the plan anyhow or the idea behind it um, could get a little fancier could uh, change this area right here where this post is to obstructing and this one to obstructing and then just be uh, non walk right in front of the windows uh, which may be something I adjust here later, but uh, I wanted to show you and explain to you uh, the walk mesh um, and uh, the difference in the coloring, how to look up on Bell Tools, what's what, and how to go about uh, uh, changing those. You just click on your walk mesh, hit right click, go to mesh, and then you can go to faces, you scroll down, when you click on a part, uh, one of the faces, it's going to tell you what the number is, and you can look and see what that represents. You can then change that number right here to whatever you want. Now, if I was to change this to five, see that changes that to um, wood. Now, uh, I'll change that back to two. Now, when you change it, it's changing, letting it the the game know are you able to walk on it? Are you able to shoot spells through it? And if, say, wood, you're able to walk on, and let's say dirt, you're able to walk on. So what's really the difference? The Really the difference is, is the sound that it'll make. 
So like when you're walking in grass, it makes a different sound than when you're walking in dirt or if you're walking on stone or wood. But that's that's some of the that's what you got to do with your walk meshes. Now, the other thing you got to do before it becomes walkable, we'll take that off. Now, the, the last thing we need to do is go down and add Aurora walk mesh. Now this has become walkable. So if we just put this in the game, we now can walk around on this. And because this height is set higher here than here, we'll literally walk and then step up. We will not be able to walk where there's white because it's obstructable, non-walkable. And we will not be able to walk where there's purple because that's uh, non-walkable as well. The rest of this is brown, which is set to five for wood. So it'll make the wood sound effect when we're walking on it. Another thing, I've still got to put in uh, the uh, walk mesh, not walk area for the uh, posts here in the back, so you can't just walk through those. So that'll be something I have to put in there yet. But I also have, uh, you see here, this is set out to include this post. Whoops. So that you can't just walk into that post. I may go ahead and move this out as well. Uh, so it's just straight across you don't need that little cubby back and get against the wall but um, I'll probably do that along here and maybe make us the well at least for these posts make a spot for these posts where you can't walk into them um, but anyhow that was about walk meshes uh, I just uh, started with a flat one and continued to add to it. But it's just kind of like uh, how when I was adding uh, polys, you can do the same. You can keep adding to this and then adding verts and you keep creating your walk mesh larger and larger and larger or with more and more verts to get all the corners and everything that you need. Um, but uh, hopefully that will help you guys to be able to manipulate and... Uh, understand the differences or what you what all you can do with uh, walk meshes all right that's the end of uh, this video and uh, I will uh, see you guys on the next one